I'm going to work on coating some more panels. I'm not going to film that because it's the same thing. Just rinse and repeat. Um, I do have more sandblasting to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that today. But I do have a lot of panels that need to be coated so that they're at least curing and ready to go. Um, so in between coating, and so I'm going to try to do two batches today of coats. So in, try to get one in this morning, that way it can flash over most of the day and then switch those out, move them. And then if I have enough Cerakote, um, at least start blasting the second batch so it can um, flash over and then get put away for tonight. But in between all that, I'm going to focus on getting the power steering rack in. So doing something a little bit different. I'm probably not going to use the poly bushings that come with it and go with something a little bit more rigid. Something that will kind of lower the entire power steering rack so that you get better centering of the rack in conjunction with the um, spindles on the front end so that you get less bump steer maybe. Probably get a little bit more vibration in the steering wheel ultimately. Um, but that doesn't bother me. So let's get to it. couple things here quick so we got these bushings out and having some trouble getting it to drop in so it looks like the the lines coming off of the I don't know the pressure lines coming for the power steering we're getting in the way of this cross member here so I took them out um, probably a blessing in disguise the o-rings are pretty severely damaged on them this side of the seal so I have to run to the store to get new o-rings for that um, but it looks like it's gonna drop in now so these are the solid mounts let's see if we can get it to drop in it's definitely fighting me a little bit so close there we go Go get the bolts quick. Well, shit. It's got to come back off. The bushings are supposed to go on the other side, on the back side. I guess it pays to read the instructions all the way through before you do this. Bummer. Okay, another quick quick tweak here is so we got this gap here. You kind of see we're gonna push this that way, which then opens up the gap here. So we're supposed to occupy this space with some washers and we'll see how many washers it's gonna take.
attempting to do here is center up the rack using this reference and then the end. And we're about nine and three quarter. And then we'll run the rack the other way. Turn it from lock to lock. And we went a little bit too far. Okay. I made nine and seven eighths. close right there. What we're trying to do is keep everything even on the thread so I'm turning it in like five full turns at a time and then I'll measure. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a half. Here, same thing. And for pre-alignment checks, according to the book, we're looking for center to center on the tie rods, sitting them at about even and level parallel to the ground, about 53 and a 16. So we'll take a pre-measurement now and see where we're at. We're about 10 turns in. I'm sure it's gonna have to go more, but we'll, we'll see what it's at. Oh yeah, we gotta go in like <laughs> three inches, so we got a long ways to go. So we'll just keep keeping the turns even per side so everything's even. And keep going, just kinda count. From center to center. Out there, pretty close. Okay, we'll lock it down there.
All right, so I have a question. So I'm supposed to install the foot, bo foot box bearing, flange bearing for the steering, this thing here. And the manual says to install it on the outside of the foot box. And it shows a picture of it being mounted on the outside of the foot box, but I specifically remember reading about some people mounting it on the inside of the foot box, I believe for clearance issues. So, there's the manual there, and it says here, bearing to the front, and it shows a picture of it mounted to the front. So what I need to do is, I need to do a little digging. I don't think it really matters. I think it's more of a clearance thing with the steering shaft and the U-joint uh, that goes about in that general area, I believe. But um, just gonna do a little bit of research just to confirm. Um, so we'll be back. After a little bit of digging, ran across a bunch of threads that, and pictures where some people have mounted on the outside, some people have mounted on the inside. Um, mounting on the inside seems to facilitate the steering shaft clearancing issues a lot better. So we're probably going to go that route. So without further ado, let's install that. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a problem. So right away You can see that there is like a clearance issue right here So I'm basically going to have to It's not that half that's gonna be the issue but the other half So slight issue here, so some people have said they've had to clearance it by um, grinding off some of this edge up here, so I think that's probably what I'll do. I'm looking at it, putting my engineering thinking cap on, I don't think it'll be an issue, so we will zip this off right here and check fit okay i think we got it this time oh, let's see here how it fits Bolts are in. 